morning everyone welcome to toast talk what is it about toast that's just so fantastic by the time you're watching this vlog it is my dad's birthday today it's papa boo's birthday and we are gonna make him his dream dessert i don't know if it's actually his dream dessert but i know his favorite dessert slash pudding is profiteroles and i've always wanted to make a croque en bouche and a croque en bouche is essentially a cone of profiteroles. So what is there not to like for him? It's a cone of profiteroles. So we're gonna to attempt to do that today. We're doing it vlog style because I have a few errands to run first. Um, we need to go out and get a few bits. So you can come with me. And I'm really in the mood for a chai latte, an iced chai latte. And Starbucks do my favorite one. I'm sorry, it's based, well, I've only been to Costa and Cafe Nero don't do them. So my options are slim, really, um, but I really want an iced chai latte. Gosh, it is a brisk out in the air this morning. Honestly, I've come on a walk because I need fresh air every day. Well, don't we all? Without air, we would be dead. Yeah, that's right. Just like plants. Wait, no, plants don't need air. How can I not remember the basic photosynthesis? C36 plus 6H2O. I don't know, there was some sort of song we sang at school, but that was a long time ago. Winter mornings in England, if they're not raining, beautiful. I mean, if they're raining and you're inside, absolutely fine. But if it's sunny and brisk, it just feels like a different type of air that you inhale. It's gorgeous. Anyway, see you when I get home. I think I'm gonna use the dessert person recipe because I've seen this on her YouTube channel. So I'm like, if there are any problems, along the way, then I can refer to the video. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients and see what it is that I need. That is brave because there's no reviews. If I'm looking at a recipe normally, I like to check this got five star reviews um, because then you know if the recipe's gone wrong or if you've messed up. I was gonna do a video where I like tested these recipes for um, a day, but then I never did it. Here we go. This is what we're gonna make guys, hopefully. Don't think it's gonna look that impressive. We all know I'm not the neatest, okay? I like product development. Oh, she's referring us to other pages in the book. Hi, Banks, you look like a queen. She needs to be seen by everyone. Reach for the stars and you'll land upon the moon. Must we be so violent with the aircon? Every time I turn on my car, it's like, I never have it on max, so I don't know what that's about. We're off to, first of all, we're actually going to this shop called Cook, which is a shop that does like nice ready meals. And I am going to go and visit the baby again that I keep, you've probably seen in the vlogs now. Um, my friend had a baby and I'm going to bring them a cook meal because I said I would do lunch, but I haven't really got time to make. Why is my car so violent with all the noises and sounds? Can we never just have silence? It's like on a Saturday morning in my house. My parents just play music from like 6am. They're just up and playing such loud music. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna to go to cook and pick up some meals for them because they can just keep them in their freezer. And then we're gonna see where the day takes us. I don't know where it's gonna take us. I've never actually been in to cook before, but I did used to make, fun fact, at one of the places I did work experience, we used to make the birthday cakes and I think the sticky toffee pudding. We'll see if they have them in there and I'll show you what we used to make. I don't know if they still supply them anymore, um, but we'll see. Right. That is cook. I've come to the supermarket because I need to get the bits for the shoe pastry. And I actually did end up going to Kiosta for a chai latte. I was thinking, you know what? The brisk air, perfect time for a Normal chai latte. I don't know if I like chai lattes. I have only ever liked the iced chai latte from Starbucks. And I'm gonna say something very controversial. I feel like Costa, every drink differs from store to store. I feel like there's no consistency. Whereas Starbucks, it's like, you get a cool lime refresher and wine, it's gonna be the exact same elsewhere. But Costa, I don't get that vibe. Um, so the iced chai latte might be really good in another store. But here's the, the, the warm chai latte. Well, isn't chai mean tea? So when you say tea, what does a latte mean? Well, no, because latte could mean coffee. I don't know. Let's let's try it. Oh, that's not bad. 
Oh, that's quite warming. Isn't that wholesome? That's really good, that is. Oh, wow. Sorry, Costa. I snaked you. And, and now you've snaked back up on me. How dare I? How very dare I? Well, the trees blowing right now are really making me feel like I'm in the swimming pool. These are the meals that I got because my friend really likes nothing too exotic. I don't even know if she likes this cottage pie. Um, they're really like, this apparently is serves too. And they're like really good. And I saw the cakes in there. It was the chocolate fudge and the carrot cake that I used to make. Um, we have a chicken and ham and leek pie. And we have got lasagna al forno. And then we also have meatballs in a rustic tomato sauce. Now I need to go and get the other bits that we need for our profiteroles. The most important, that's the whole purpose of this video. Um, but we got all the bits. All of the bread was freshly warm. And I have a habit, If when I was younger, if we were walking back from the shops and we got a French baguette, I'd always bite the nubbin off. But because I'm bringing this for lunch, that seems a little inappropriate. I've got the cool bag and I'm ready to go to my friends. I feel like when I have a cool bag, I feel as though my life is really together. I don't know what it is. What makes me feel that way? It just feels like I'm prepared. I think that's what it is. And I love it. I love it. Yeah, I've got a cool bag. I'm ready for anything. It's showtime. It's time to make the shoe pastry for this croque en bouche. However, I have had a change of heart and I have changed the recipe I'm going to be using because I had a brainwave in the middle of the night and I realized that dad doesn't like the creme pat ones. He likes the cream filled ones. So we've mission aborted that and we're gonna go for cream filled ones because at the end of the day, this is for Papa Booth. We need him to find his utmost joy in this croque en bouche. I want him to come home and be like, I was craving that. That's been in my brain. That's honestly, he's worked so hard this year. So I feel like the man just, he just needs a croque en bouche in his life. So adding our butter, I need 160 grams of butter and I put 159, so I just need one extra gram. I love it when I get so close. Also, can we just have a standing ovation for Pyrex jugs? I'm not being paid to say this, but I just feel like Pyrex jugs are so good. Absolutely excellent. It's time to put the mixture on. This looks disgusting. It I'm not even going to say what it reminds me of because no one needs to think about that when they're in, about to enjoy shoe pastry. Right, <clears throat> I think it's time to add the flour. You want to cook all of the gluten out, that's what we're doing here. Right, it is coming away from the sides but I just wanted it to touch longer. And then we transfer immediately and add the eggs one by one. But I think we need to let it cool a bit otherwise it's going to scramble our eggies. It's so much less stressful when you're not baking for someone because it doesn't have to be good and then you don't put pressure on yourself and then you don't mess up we are going to beat in our eggs if i'm honest i don't think i needed to double it it's like literally so much batter all right these suckers are all done they're going to go in the oven and we'll see how they turn out i am having my bake-off moment and i'm intently watching my little babies look they're so nice and round and puffy. Getting shoe pastry out at the right time is basically the most crucial step because if you get them out too soon, they collapse. If you get, don't get them out early enough, it's just an absolute mess. So I feel like we're good. And now what I need to do is I need to poke a little hole in each of them. They are hot to trap. Here we go. All the little puppies are done. Right. So we're about to make the filling. Obviously we're just going with the old simple Chantilly cream because I just remember that dad said that's what he likes the most in a profiterole He doesn't like the creme pat. The creme pat, you can't forget it But in this, we need blooming vanilla pods and let me tell you, pricey Might as well have gotten a mortgage out for these So in here we have two vanilla pods. Guess how much these two are? Six quid. It's ridiculous. So I tell you this better be appreciated and these better be the best shoe that they have ever consumed in their whole life. Okay, we have our lovely whipped cream here. 
with the vanilla pod and the sugar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up all my profiteroles um, and then I'm gonna pop those in a bowl in the fridge. And then later on, when I know that he's about to come home, I'm gonna assemble it because I don't wanna assemble it now because then it goes off and you can't keep it in the fridge because you assemble it with um, boiled sugar and then boiled sugar when it goes in the fridge will disintegrate and go sticky in. So I'm gonna prepare myself and I'm gonna try and fill these profiteroles. Okay guys, it's go time. Let's do our first one. Oh yeah, baby. You may have overfilled them just a little bit. It's fine, we'll clean that up later. But I'm gonna pop those in the fridge and then the ones I didn't fill, I'm just gonna keep in the freezer so then we can actually have real life profiteroles because I don't want them to go to waste. I don't want to fill loads and then they don't get eaten. All right guys, it's go time. I've got my caramel, but it's really hot. So I'm gonna try and keep it in this mug so that it's like a small space. So essentially, you just take your profiterole I'm doing it on this plate. I did buy a cake board, but I feel like the cake board will be too big and I really don't want any waste. So I'm just gonna dip it in the caramel. I hope my caramel's like, I mean, hopefully it will look like that caramel will just cool. We wanna make a nice ring on the bottom. I have not got enough profiteroles. I shouldn't have frozen them. Oh, okay, the caramel's hardening. This is what we want. I've got this. I just don't wanna burn my fingers. That is the, <gasps> that's the aim today, Grace, okay? I really don't wanna have to make any more caramel. That, that will really be a stone in the Heelys. But yes, they're hardening to the plate. I'm getting hot, I'm getting hot. It's stressful. Stressful, beautiful. I wanna just make sure they're all wrong there. Okay, so now I've not got enough. I've not got enough. Should I run to the shop and get some? I might have to actually buy, go and buy some profiteroles. I've not bought enough. You wanna gradually decrease the circumference or the radius or the diameter. I'm not a big maths girl. That's it guys, well done. Hey ho, we keep moving. Don't stop moving to the funky, funky beat. This isn't gonna look as impressive as I thought because it's not gonna be a massive one. But sometimes, sometimes you just have to go with the motions of the oceans. <clears throat> I just got black caramel on my thumb. I just don't want a wonky, I don't want a leaning tower pizza kind of situation. Will she have enough? That's the question we're all asking. This is nowhere near gonna be enough. Right, I've got more caramel. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna get some profiteroles. I've gone in too quickly though, because now if I buy profiteroles, I could go way higher. Right, I'm just gonna be quiet and go and get some profiteroles. Okay, I am back. I'm just reheating my caramel. Um, but they only had these little tiny pots, but it's probably a good thing, because these pots don't have date till the 13th of November. So I'll just use however many is necessary, so they can do it. Oh no, they've got chocolate on, that's gonna, have and they're so little, they're so tiny. That's gonna to totally kill the vibe. Right, so I have three of these puppies left. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna space out the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So we're like slowly starting to introduce chocolate. And then when I, so then I can use this chocolate sauce, melt it and squiggle it over so it's the same color. Hey, hey, we're gonna make this work. This is good, this is good. We're gonna make this look like it was intentional. Slightly going a bit wonky tonky. And I'm just gonna taste one of these. I think they've done a creme pat one, not a... If I'm honest, I do not understand the hype around the Oh God. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna scoop out the chocolate that's left in here. I'm gonna add some chocolate chips in here and a little bit of double cream. I'm gonna try and make like a ganache so we're using everything up because we have a bit of cream left. Okay. So here we have our lovely ganache. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it on the top. So it's essentially like a giant profiterole croc on bouche. Why are you falling? Yeah, this is like a giant profiterole tower. So for Papa Boo's dessert, Grack has made a profiterole tower, an assembly of Papa Boo's favorite desserts all stacked on top of one another. So we just had dinner and I totally forgot what was in the fridge and dad's just come home and what have you seen? Oh gosh, croc en bouche. What do you think? It's Can't wait to... a little croc en bouche for you. Nice, and a little, I did the, huge. I did the cream filling, not vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Vanilla custard, you don't like that one, no. do you? Okay, good. Nice, boom. Ow. The bottom ones I made and then the top tiny ones, I ran out so I had to go to car up. I did the top three. But then I made this chocolate sauce mm -hmm. thing. Little. Yeah, thank you. Well, well, someone else There's also, what are you like? There's more cream as well. 
You have to let me know. Anyone? Anyone? Last one, Sam. I'm about to get the, view, the, the feedback. What are we saying? Top marks. Was it good? Yeah, fantastic. Were they good? How much as I wanted to 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Wow. Any improvements? Nope. Literally none. No. Had's got more to say. I just went off with the yeah, camera. Yeah, I just remembered that we had the lovely toffee caramelly sauce. You like that? That was nice. It's to stick it all together. But yeah. do you think it worked in there? Yeah. I'm apprehensive because you guys don't like caramel. No, it's nice. Mm. It's more toffee sticky than sickly sweet caramel. Mm. How long you love you all loads and I hope you enjoyed. Happy birthday, Dad. We love you so much. Peace out, Funk.